so this is an incubator where we're growing um, the cortical steroids. These tiny balls of tissue are opening a new window into the human brain. They're clumps of living cells that make up the cerebral cortex, which plays a key role in memory, thought, and language. It's essentially providing us another tool in the arsenal of tools that we have for studying the brain. Instead of relying on animal tissue, researchers at Stanford University are growing brain parts from the skin cells of people with neurological disorders. Which shows um, They're using the cell structures to study the biological roots of autism and schizophrenia in hopes of developing new treatments. Um, we're not trying to make an entire brain. Right? What we're trying to do is we're trying to make very specific parts of the brain um, that are important for very specific diseases and study those in isolation uh, in a dish. At the University of California, San Francisco, Dr. Arnold Krigstein and his colleagues are growing brain cells from patients with severe neurological disorders like microcephaly, which results in abnormally small brains. Those of us studying nervous system disorders had to model them in animals, but now we can actually model them using human cells from patients who actually have this, the actual disease. The lab-grown brain structures are part of a larger movement over the past few years to produce organoids, miniature versions of the body's organs. So something is wrong with this cell. Scientists are able to take a person's skin cells and turn them into stem cells that can grow into any type of cell in the body. These are remarkable models for studying human diseases and will hopefully open up new targets for therapy and, and create a better understanding of some of these profound disorders. But these cerebral organoids are far from fully functioning brains. For one thing, they lack a blood supply, which limits their growth. A little brain organoid is not going to be sitting back thinking, who am I, where am I, why am I here? Researchers may face some ethical questions down the road as they grow more complex brain structures. But for now, the focus is using the new technology to deepen our understanding of the human brain. Terry Che, Associated Press, San Francisco.